What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. We're gonna go ahead and get into, into the monastery and kind of look around and check out what is really going on here in Ethiopia. You got the Orthodox Christians who they say that color does not matter when it comes to the pictures and the images that you see of Jesus or Mary. As you see right here, you're gonna find that you will have pictures that look like the Ethiopians, but yet you'll have pictures that look like the Europeans. You will see that even where there's the, the archangel that this is supposed to represent and the three uh, children receiving a message or a blessing, it's the same here. And what you're gonna find is that they are saying that it's not about the color. And I get it and I understand that. But when I ask the question of, well, who are doing these pictures? You find that there are many that are being donated from around the globe, yet they're not Ethiopian Orthodox. And they want these pictures to be on the monasteries. As I say and believe, this right here is nothing more than pushing their agenda to show that what those in the European or the Catholic faith that Jesus is white. And this plays a, a, a significant psychological effect on the minds that I've proven by one individual who subconsciously stated that white was better. We're gonna continue on with this family. All right, family, so I've just went through Emperor Melanick II his mausoleum. And what you see behind my brother here, Ashu, is the original, right? This is yes. the original back yeah, here. Th th that one, the first one, not original, actually, the first to be Th said. The first. Both, both of them are original, but that one is the first. Yes. Where Vinilik used to make a prayer. We call it Silbet or House of the Pain. Okay. And his body, when after he died, was there also. Yeah. And then after the construction of this by his daughter, okay. Zorditu, then the body comes in here and buried underground okay okay so the body was on the ground and yes. um the people's going to see that yeah okay so my observations drum roll please what i love about ashu and and i've spoke to many priests while i've been visiting in ethiopia is that you all do not have a concern necessarily about color you you all say that it's the message mary jesus they don't matter the color of the picture it's the message the story behind it. The story behind it. In my observations, right, in much respect to the Ethiopians and you all's belief, I, I share with you, me and you come from two different worlds. Yeah. And you made a very profound statement to me that we were put into a box of believing everything is stuck about color. And that when somebody puts you into a box of color, they've actually taken something away from you. I like how you said that. But when I go in here into this mausoleum, the first thing I see is the white Jesus, the white Mary. When in most of majority of all of your monasteries you have on the outside, which this one does not have pictures of, or even stained glass don't have on this one, the color of Jesus or Mary. But majority of them have a black Jesus and a black Mary. I've been making the argument, if you will, that how is it when you see these pictures that are not attached to the building, as people are gonna see, when you see what is attached to the walls, it's the people of color. But when it's the ones that have been donated, you said these pictures have been donated coming from Russia, coming from around the world, really, yeah. some from the Catholics and stuff, that it seems as though the white picture, pictures take precedence up front while everything in the back is of color. The reason why I say that is because you don't understand our history. When in America, when it was during the time of you know, uh, slavery, even to this day, blacks were always put in the back, in the rear. 
If you got on the bus, you had to sit in the back. When you were in classrooms, when they did integrations, the blacks sat in the back. When you went to restaurants, the blacks had to go in the back of the building to get food. Everything was always black is in the back. White is in the front. You see, y'all have had the benefit of not necessarily being colonized by the presence of Europeans here. But I say y'all have been colonized by other means than just your colonizers sitting here in the country. I believe it's just an agenda of using pictures so that those people who come visit feel comfortable knowing that their Christ, their savior, their Mary is white. Now, I share with you, I want you to explain, you know, as a means to, to those out there, this whole thing of this color mat doesn't matter. And the pictures, please share that with the people. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, there is no white Jesus and no black Jesus. Okay. We believe and we accept Jesus as one Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the same is true with St. Mary. Uh, you know, uh, this world it is the issue of survival. There is high competition, mm -hmm. especially the West and the other places. They're scared of and everything. So they try, in order to survive, they were trying to bring some of the good things towards them. So sometimes they take yours and they took it to them and they want to, you know, to wish something that to be like yours. Yes. So. Originally, if you see things very deep, the story will be different. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the church also, this, there is a, some, some painters or some pictures could be like a white colored or some African color. Yes. But if you go deeply into the technical things, you don't, they don't get no. any justification about that because it seems like a white, but you, there is no facial recognition. You can't say that this is St. Mary but this is Saint, uh, Jesus Christ, <coughs> unless you saw it on the story. <coughs> but you, seeing that, you can see this is this picture is Jesus, and this picture is Saint Mary. And the same is true with the color. That's why sometimes some people they say black Jesus, black, white Jesus, and the, because there is no recognition from the picture or from the painters, unless the story tells you. If you see. Jesus, we see if you see someone is crucified in the churches, regardless of the, the face color or the face image, you will see definitely associated with Jesus Christ. If you see a, a woman having a son and the angels which are uh, painted on the right and left, that's automatically will be Saint Mary, regardless of her image. Uh, the image in those pictures, some people they do, especially with the painters, they do paint according to their perspective, what they have in their mind. Some of them, they could paint it with some other, which they are exposed with a white or the others. Some of them, they do paint it with their own accustomed uh, or with their mission they have. So the main thing, what you need to focus is, do not try to bring those things to white and the black one. After all, the human, you have to see the big image, the human image. Yes. Those colors have come through, uh, you know, through generation, through uh, outside and inside factors that force to be changed. If you go through deeply on behind, uh, some people now they say it's uh, Abraham is the father of the faith and the life. But what was before that? There was a life. So you need to be widened to see things from the different perspective. You need to have a base. Don't say that. Don't go to the agenda of white and black. Otherwise, you are being trapped with the agenda which are given. So you need to, I mean, uh, pray for the white or pray to be whiter and be uh, like a privilege. Yes. So that is not uh, something that you need to focus. Try to go beyond, try to go out of the box and try to think of the big world. That those were also like us. But you know, this world is a competition world. Competition for survival, for competition for different things. There are people, there are groups which they want to take what you, what is associated to you, to them, and they want, they want you, you to wish that uh, things to be like for you. I, under, I I appreciate that most definitely. And let me just say this right here in closing for you, that 
Uh, we talked about, you know, color has an impact on everything. You can use colors to send messages. Sure. And, you know, whether you, you paint a person uh, red to show anger or if you show, you know, a person um, whatever color it might be. We know because I was in the film industry and I know that colors, lightings and everything sends messages. Now, because I come from a, a Western world that predominantly was European, their message that they sent basically uh, unconsciously or we were um, um, basically taught that this whole Bible thing had no, nothing to do with black people that it had because of the pictures because pictures mean everything when you see the pictures that were even in the bible these were white people we're talking about but just in the uh, 70s in the bible they had pictures of mary they had pictures of jesus and they were white these pictures are very damaging to the mindset Let me ask your question sure was there a camera to take a picture of this mary and jesus of course not of course not but we can deduce we, do we have any painters during that time. So okay. so why are they making pictures anyway, period, then today? Why are there black Jesus that y'all have? Why are there white yeah, yeah. pictures that Jesus have, of Jesus? So my thing is that people are doing it. Yeah, and one thing what you need to... Uh, to What's up, brother? How's it going? So right. One thing what you have to know is about the uh, uh, painted in the church. Last time I told you, at least they have three reasons to do one. One thing is the decoration and the second thing is for concentration where you are making a prayer. Yeah. The third thing is storytelling. I understand. Storytelling in a sense means when you come with your parents, I mean with your parents, or you, you came with your parents or grandfather or some others, yeah. you will ask them, what is this when you tell you this is Jesus Christ, he was crucified for yeah. us, this is St. Mary, yeah. and those, 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 those things. But it doesn't mean this was the right picture of Jesus Christ, and this is not the right picture of St. Mary. So I totally get you, brother. I know we've, no. we've talked about this family mm. for the last three days, and, and I, I totally get it. I'm, I'm just not sure if you understand my part, the subliminal messages it does to the mind. That's all I'm saying, is that these people who painted the pictures wanted to plant a seed that the Messiah, that God, they even got pictures of God, that we know God is not a man, but it's the subliminal messages, which then in turn will cause one to submit to what they think is a higher authority above them that matches the color of God, which is the European. We find this through even testing that people have an inferior complex of who they are because of pictures that were painted of the Messiah or God. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So my thing is that I agree with the Ten Commandments. The second commandment was do not make any graven images of the things in the heavens, in the earth, and in the sea. You all have crossed that line. The Catholics have crossed that line. And what well, I'm just saying, I'm saying according to my understanding of the Ten Commandments. Because so you may say this is it dangerous. Seems, it seems like you're closer, but we don't cross a line. I said in my opinion. In yeah, my opinion. Yes, that's good. In my opinion. Because the commandments say, do not make any graven images. Because these are very dangerous. Because you're right. You can't put a picture of God. No man has seen God. And you can't put a picture of Jesus. Because we know even the scriptures were written about 49 uh, AD or what have you. So nobody knows. So I believe that if color doesn't matter, don't paint no pictures. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's you, the logic. That you, for the logic, you have some clue, and yeah. then you, you read some uh, uh, kind of decisions or yeah. some kind of things. Yeah. Well, I, I do respect your thoughts. Yes. But that doesn't mean it's true. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. But I, uh, you ever been to America? I've never been to You America. ever been to Europe? No. You've never been? Yes. What other countries have you been besides Ethiopia? Uh, South Africa. I went to see South Africa. Okay, South Africa. See, he's never been into a Western world. So he, he his world is totally different than mine. No, no, so, not my world. Most of the Ethiopians world they have their own perspective to see those things. Right. But I'm, I'm saying that the, we the come from two is, different worlds. Although people who want to have to go out of this white and put things... Yeah. They need a little bit deeper. Even earlier, we were mentioning about the cinematography, the lighting, those things. So if you want someone to be depressed or something, you, you do put the black colors. Yeah. But is that true? 
black is something which is depression or something which you want to see? No, because we're going to get into it and we're going to end right here. <laughs> I'm going to do a video that there are Ethiopians who believe God is black. No, no. Uh, they associated the color black yes. with God. Yeah. Because, but it doesn't mean God is black. You cannot give a sentences of that one. Okay. But more it expresses in black because the black is nothing to see. You know, it doesn't have a, a shining. It absorbs, it takes, it remains the same when it, there is a light and where there is no light. Yeah. It's consistent with what they had. But the others, when you give them a light, they reflect so that you can say this is white, this is green, this is this, this is this. this. But with the black, things remain the same. And they're deep. And they're very deep. And if you believe, if you try to do something, try to be in a darker color and try to see the word on your sixth eye, yeah. then you see and you know you'll be enlightened to all those things. Don't come only only to those kind of given agendas yeah. of those colors. Go beyond that and go out of the box yes. and think and see. And then I'm with find. you. I'm with you. <laughs> Well, I thank you, my brother. Thank you, mate. This is your man. This is your man, not your boy. Okay. Go black to Africa. Think about it. 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 Think about it.